Welcome to Beauty in 5 Minutes. I'm Amelia and today we're learning how to use a makeup sponge. Ready, set, go. What is a makeup sponge? A makeup sponge is a soft tool, generally made of foam, that you use to apply your liquid or cream or even powder makeup products. So you would think of it like an extension of your fingers. So instead of using your hands to apply your product, you're using the sponge. Makeup sponges come in all shapes and sizes. Some of them have different textures and they all work similarly in that they help to apply and blend in the makeup, but different finishes or textures on the sponge can be great for different things like so why would you choose to use a makeup sponge over fingers or a brush it really just depends on how you like your makeup to look and also how you like to apply your makeup if you are somebody who likes a more full coverage finish on your foundation for instance then a brush is usually going to be the way to go because the brush is not going to thin out the product it's really going to help you to just apply it on in like that kind of full coverage sort of finish a sponge is going to kind of absorb a little bit of the product but it's also going to help it kind of press into the skin so that it has more of that skin like finish to it so let me show you how to use a makeup sponge so I have two in my hand so this is a dry sponge and this is one that I run under the tap for about 10 seconds the reason that you would want to wet your sponge is because you want it to absorb a lot of water so that it becomes nice and soft and when it's nice and soft like this it allows you to kind of bounce it on the skin and really kind of press the product into the skin rather than the sponge absorbing the product. If you were to use a dry sponge on your face, what it's going to do is absorb any shine. So you can see that I've got a shiny forehead here. So you kind of like use the sponge there and you see that it's kind of like, I don't know, I'm really shiny. <laughs> It has softened a little bit of that shine and it's absorbed the oil or the moisture. If you had finished your makeup, for instance, and you wanted to soften the blush or whatever it is that you had on, then you could take a dry sponge and then just kind of really lightly tap it over that area where you want to soak up any of the shine. If you're applying the products and you want to get that really nice like look then you would go for a damp sponge it's really important to make sure that you wash your sponge every day because these hold a lot of moisture in them and when you are applying it to your face it also will have bacteria on it so you just want to make sure that your makeup tools anything that you're using on your face is nice and clean so I'm going in with the Armani Luminous Silk pop a little bit in my hand and then I take the flat side of the sponge so you take your foundation and then you just bounce it on the skin and what it's doing is it's applying the product but it's also blending in comparison to how a brush you would really kind of paint it on and then sort of like blend out any sort of streaks I just find this so much faster and just really nice and natural this is a great tool to sheer out thin out the foundation and make it look more sheer to medium coverage you can pretty much do your entire base using a makeup sponge so i'm going to do a little bit of concealer and then i'm using the kind of teardrop side great for more like precision so easy okay blush so yeah like i mentioned earlier you can use your fingers but a sponge is great because it means that you're not getting your hands as dirty you're not leaving fingerprints or streaks on your face and you're just able to blend out your makeup a lot easier. You can also use it to blend out your other cream products like cream bronzers. You can use it to apply liquid highlighters, anything that's more of that creamy liquidy texture. If you wanted to set or bake however much product you like to apply or where you like to apply it, you can use your sponge for that. I'm using the Anastasia translucent powder and then I'm taking the teardrop part of the sponge. I'm just gonna apply it just here under the eyes and that's going to set the concealer and the foundation. And that's how you would use it with the powder. Okay, so I hope those little tips and tricks helped you learn how to use a makeup sponge and why you might want to use one. If you have any questions, please pop them down below and I will see you in another video soon. Bye.